Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to add colored blur effect in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into using path blur, clipping mask, masking, and gradient map. Now let's get started. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to extract our subject from the background. So to do that, going on to the layers panel, click on the background layer to make it active. Then go to the context tool taskbar for us to create an instant selection on the subject. Or if you can't find the context tool taskbar, you can just go to the menu bar, go to window, and find context tool taskbar. Once you click the context tool taskbar, this bar should appear. Now we can already start creating a quick selection. So under the context tool taskbar, just click on select subject. Once I did that, you can already see that we already have a perfect selection on the subject itself. Now, let's extract that by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J. So once I did that, looking on the layers panel, we already have this subject layer. So let's name this one as the subject. There we go. Then, we're going to create a duplicate layer of that for the blur. So for the subject layer selected, now let's create a duplicate layer. Same thing. Press Ctrl or Command plus J. And now, let's name this layer as the Blur. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. We're moving back. So from that Blur layer, click on that. Convert this layer into a Smart Object. So right-click on that layer and then select Convert to Smart Object. There you go. Then, now let's apply the Blur. So with that blur layer selected, go to the menu bar, go to filter, then go to blur gallery and find path blur. Click on this because this time we're going to create different directions of blur. Once we click on the path blur, we have this arrow. Create directions using these arrows, okay, something like that. And then let's go first on the setting of the path blur. So on this side, we can increase the speed. And another thing here, untick the center blur. Untick that. All right. So there we go. And then let's add the speed. Okay. Creating this blur. Look at that. We already start trying to stretch out the blur. Okay. So let's just set this one for a while for 350%. Oh, speed effect. And then for the endpoint speed, okay, you can try to play around with it to something like that. All right. So it's up to you on how many pixels you want. All right. So in my case, I'll be setting this one into 250, something like that. All right. And then for to create multiple directions, okay, so from this arrow, I'm just going to drag this one going up, something like this. All right, then let's create another arrow. So to create another arrow, you just have to click to create a point. Let's say, let's create an arrow here. Just click to create a point. You see that? Once I click that, and then let's left click again here where it's going. There you go. And then click on the last point that you just created to create an arrow. Click on that. There you go. So you can see that we already created an arrow. You can also bend the direction, something like that. Okay, and let's just increase this one. Something like that. Okay, so the blur in the middle is just fine. We can fix that later on. Okay, also here, click, and let's create another arrow here, and click that once again. Okay, now you can see we already have, we're creating that kind of effect there. Okay. So we still have to fix on something. So. Under the path blur, we're going to try to increase the endpoint. Okay, something like that. This one is fine in my case. Now, once you're satisfied with it, just hit OK. Okay, now we're going to reveal the face of the woman. So, with that blur layer selected, let's go down here and add a mask. So, let's click on this icon. Then, press B for the brush tool. Set the foreground color to black. Let's make use a soft round brush. Then for the opacity, let's just set this one into 40%. Okay, and then let's start revealing the face of our subject. Something like that. 
also on the body. Okay, there we go. Let's also reveal some part of his body. Okay, just like his legs. All right, now that's fine. Okay, now this time we're going to add color to it. So to do that, let's create a duplicate layer of this blur layer. So press Control or Command plus J. Now let's name this layer as the colored blur. Okay, and then I'm going to click and drag it under the subject layer. So there you go. So it should be under the subject layer. This is the subject layer, and here's the colored blur layer. Then Let's go down here on the adjustment layer icon, click on this icon, and then let's find gradient map. Okay, so once we already have this gradient map, we're going to select on clipping mask, or you can just right click on that layer and then select clipping mask. This one, there we go. And make sure that it's on top of the colored blur layer. There we go, then, so to change the color or to edit the color, Go to the properties panel from the uh, under the gradient map. Double click on this to open the gradient editor. Then we can change the color of it. So there are different presets here. If you want to change it to blue, let's just first click on this blue with purple. Okay, look at that. Look at the effect that is being applied on our subject. So I'll try the purple one, or you can try the pink one, or you can also manually create a color combination on this part okay so let's say let's click on this and then we're going to change this one to purple okay light purple let's say hit okay then let's create another stops here this time let's say i want it uh, a, a light pink like that hit okay or right, this one i want to set this to white okay there you go and this one here you can choose whatever color you want to add on your gradient effect. Okay, let's say red. Okay, and there you go. Then once you're good with it, once you're satisfied with your color combination, we can already start selecting okay. So I still want to keep on revealing on the hair part. Okay, so just go onto the blur layer, click on the layer mask thumbnail, press B. For the brush tool, set that to black, and let's keep on revealing on this part. Okay. There you have it. Now let me show you the before and after. This one is the before, and this one is the after. And that is how to add colored blur effect in Photoshop.